21st of April 1918. Time 10.30am. Our mission? We will fly wing for Captain Brown as he leads the patrol over our lines. There are a couple of new pilots accompanying your flight on this patrol to gain some experience, including the captain's high school buddy, Wat May. They will stay back and just observe the action from below. Your flight will attack any enemy aircraft if encountered. You will assume an echelon right formation immediately from takeoff. Maintain a position just below to the right of the leader's wing. Good luck. Hi everyone, welcome aboard. We're here in our beautiful Sopwith Camel. And we're flying patrol around, well just past Amiens is behind us. That town just under, obscured by the cloud a little bit. A couple of barrage balloons, all friendly at the moment. Uh, lake down there. Uh, I did just see a steam engine over here somewhere. There he is, down there. Coming through the uh, the trees next to the woods. Yeah, we've got a uh, four-man patrol out today, looking to do any a uh, bit of a cap over this area to see if we can shoot down any enemy bombers, observation aircraft, or fighters. It's all. Um, all much the muchness to be honest with you. Uh, we're going to continue to fly down the river and then you can see no man's land in front of us, the horrible dark smudge that is a stain across the landscape. Just cuts the green fields in two doesn't it, it's horrible. But yeah, uh, so we're coming up to the front line now. We'll probably get a little bit of um, anti-aircraft fire but hopefully um, nothing too bad at this altitude and uh, we can pick off any enemy aircraft that we spot, so we'll uh, we'll continue on for the moment. Oh, hello. What do we got over there? One, two, three, four, five aircraft coming up. Oops, careful. You look away and you almost ram into uh, flight leads. So we've got five aircraft coming up through the cloud over there, over no man's land. I can't see what they are from here. I'm going to stick to flight lead. Oh, hello. <laughs> As he dives away. He's making it difficult to stick with him. Uh, he's going to, he's got some oscillation on the wings, I think. What's going on there? Uh, anyway, the uh, we, well, I don't know why we're giving up our altitude advantage for these uh, aircraft. Oh no, he's gone up that way. Oh, flight lead, what are you doing? I can't help but feeling we're putting ourselves at a disadvantage here. We're getting down with the anti-aircraft fire, right. There they are. Now I've got, I bet you these are the two um, Hairs, which will uh, entice the stupid pilot, i.e. me, and then he'll get jumped from behind. No, maybe not. Jumping on the tail, so. Well, these are the two rookies. Possibly.
There he is. Oh, I've got too much speed. Going up. Oh, he's going. Is he going for the observation balloons? Is that what he's going for? Ah, well, let's try and save our observation balloon. He's got the height advantage. Right, start coming up. I don't know where the other aircraft went. I think they went into that cloud, uh, which left me with potentially the two rookies, which I'm happy with. Oh no, he's got it. Where'd he go? There he is. Damn it. We failed. We didn't keep them safe. I've oh, packed two parachutes. The two guys are safe though. That's good Good to see. Right, we've got the extra large uh, window in the wing, which gives me better visibility than otherwise. Now he's dogfighting. Just going on sound alone, so I don't know, can't see him half the time. Oh, who turns tighter? I'm just trying to do this without stalling. Come on. Oh, this is right on the edge of stalling. Oh, there we go. Stalled. That's scary when you stall. Right. Where is he? Is that him? That could be him. There's another couple of aircraft over there. I don't want to climb up to this guy and let's not be him and the, uh, the other guy tags us. Oh, we're going to go and check this guy out. Climb up to him anyway. Ah, oh, they're the rest of them. Hopefully the rest of the flight's doing well. Okay, there's one, two, three, four, five aircraft, plus the one we're chasing up high. 
so hopefully they are four of our flight or three of our flight I think he's seen that we're chasing him okay we're slowly getting up to his altitude and I mean slowly but we're almost there now Oh, thought he was coming for a pass then. Just need to gain some momentum at this altitude. Uh, he's slowly bringing us closer to the rest of them, and I think they're probably more. German aircraft and they are friendly over here. Right, re engage. Oh, watch out, watch out, watch out. I might have got a pilot. That veered off. I think I might have got a pilot kill there. Right, uh, don't go into the cloud. There they are, they're over there. Let's head over there. And see what we've got. Can we make out what's over here? No, not really. That's That That looks like a camel. Uh, so he's, he's battling two DR, DR3s, are they? DR1s, DR1 triplanes, that's what they are, aren't they? So if we can come and even the nods for him, that will be great. I think there's probably another one somewhere. So I'll get on his uh, tail. And that is a... Yeah, that's a triplane. So let's dive in after this one. He's kind of on our tail. We'll occupy this one. Let our buddy pick on that one. Oh, stripey one. Is he an ace? Interesting. My god, they turn sharp, don't they? Whoa. where we stall. Try to get some shots into the engine block or into the pilot. Either one is usually pretty good. I think as a pilot, I think I saw the um, the shells hitting around the uh, the shoulders of the, uh, the pilot, so I think that might have gone... Yeah, it's not nice to hit the pilot, but if you hit the aircraft there's pretty much there's no way for the pilot to bail out anyway so
Let's go and check out this aircraft. Who we got here? That's a camel. Who's he fighting? That cloud makes me nervous because they could come out of that any seconds. There's a camel down there. Where is that last triplane? Is that him? Yes. Oh no, that's not the um the camel spiralling out of control, is it? It might well be. Damn it. Where's this guy gone? I've lost him. There he is. No, there he is. Who's that then? Oh my god, there might be two of them. Whoa, 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 Please check your tail. My goodness, I thought that I saw a second one. After 36 minutes and one second, that is all we managed to survive. Slightly better than the 20 minutes. <laughs> but not much better. Uh, three aircraft kills though, so um, that's not too bad. And we were shot down by an unseen bandit. Um, I don't know how the rest of the flight got on, but uh, uh, we can, I suppose, have a look in the events log. Well, this spiral, so, oh yeah, we've got what we've got here. Salt with camel down. That's me crashing down. So there was still a camel in the air. Shot by a, uh, a Fokker DR1. Camel down, that doesn't say shot down by a camel. So did they collide or? Let's have a look. Uh, I shot that one down. When it says by friendly, it means me. Um, so I shot that one that down, that one down. I shot that one down. Okay. So what about this one? That's shut down by a friendly sort of camel. Okay. So four camel, uh, four DR ones were shot down. So there must have been six of them. And we still had the camel in the air. And I'm not sure what happened to this one. Looks like they may have they have crashed. But there you go. We took off. Um, flew over Amiens. And then this was our patrol zone. Here's the front line there. So, uh, yeah. That anti-aircraft fire was uh, friendly, which is good to know. But there we go. I thought I'd just bring you a little bit of uh, World War One action. A bit of dogfighting in the... Uh, in the Sopwith Camel. It's been a long time since I've flown any um, biplanes or... or World War One aircraft anyway so I thought I'd just for a change I'll jump on and uh, have a quick short mission try and get some of my eye in try and get um, back to flying these aircraft because they they handle so differently and they you know the stalling points and um, they sometimes are very tricky to try and catch from a stall you got to sort of blip the throttle cut the throttle basically to stop the um, the oscillation and the momentum pulling you right in some of these aircraft and then trying to gain control with the rudder anyway anyway it, it's it's a skill that you've got to stay on top of and um, get better at 
all the time. So yeah, that, I thought that wasn't too bad for my first time for a long time. Um, I'm going to have a little bit of a play around with a few aircraft, just get back into enjoying you know, various flying, and then we're going to start another series. I've got various ideas on what to start. Um, I'll, uh, I'll maybe um, put a few videos out in the next coming weeks and see which ones people like. Um, some of them may be potential video series, but I won't sell you and uh, and see which do well and what gets the best response from people. So thanks so much for watching. Take care. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.